Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man, alright, today's video is the discount, discount, discount. Vehicle, vehicle, vehicle. Pick of the week! Yeah, man, alright. Finally, is back with this bad boy. Now, this week's, well, this double money event has been going for two weeks, right? And it is about to expire coming this coming Thursday, alright? So, I wanted to make sure I got this video done to highlight this, to show you guys, you know, what I think are some of the really good discount vehicles and what I would take as my overall pick. And if you guys want to purchase these, to go ahead and pick them up, right? Now, we're starting out with the 190Z. This is not my vehicle pick, even though it really could be. I mean, honestly. I mean, this vehicle is amazing, all right? It really is. It really is an awesome car. Um, but this is a Twitch Prime vehicle. Now, the Twitch Prime from the Newswire compared to what we actually have is different. Rockstar kind of messed up a little bit. The 190Z is a Twitch Prime discount. It's 80% off. It's like 180 something thousand. It's it's less than 200 grand for this car, okay? And the reason why I picked it is not only is it just a beautiful car overall, not only is it just a great car to drive, um, this is one of the most customizable vehicles in the game, and it's not even an Arena War vehicle or a Benny's vehicle. I mean, I have to, like, speed this up because there are so many customizable features on this vehicle. It's ridiculous. There's, like, over 20 spoilers for it. There's tons of exhaust. There's, you know, several different engine. You know, you have, like, the engine customization. You have the the uh, support bar that goes across. I mean, it's all this stuff. It's crazy. It really is. There's 15 different exhaust options on there. It's a lot. And when you can get a vehicle like this that is very nice, it has a lot of good nostalgia to it with its real-life counterpart. You know, the old Datsuns, the Fair Lady Zs, right? Um, and with all this customization for under 200 grand, now I, I get it, you have to have the Twitch Prime set up with your you know, GTA 5 online account, but I know a lot of people do. And if you do have that, this is the absolute car I would recommend. If you have the Twitch Prime, this is the vehicle to go with right here, okay? Honestly, it really is. It's a beautiful car. I love it. Under 200 grand, one of the most customizable vehicles in the game. I think it is the most customizable that's not a Benny's or Arena War vehicle. It's just really nice to, to have, and it's really fun to drive. This doesn't have the best performance. All right, so moving on to the next honorable mention, or, uh, you know, notable mention, would be one of my all-time favorites. It's the Sterling GT, okay? This car is gorgeous. It's another sports classic. It's one of the best-sounding cars in the game, in my opinion, okay? I know a lot of people don't like it. Some people say it sounds like a popcorn machine or whatever, but I love the way it sounds. It's got that old school, you know, 1950s, um, you know, Mercedes 300 SL type kind of sound to it. It's got the gull wing doors. It drives good. It's fun. It's fast. It's just a beautiful car. It really is. They did a great job on this vehicle. Um, and I love the, I mean, honestly, the down throttle in this car is one of the best in the game. When you just, when you're wide open, you just let off the throttle and let it just go down. It's, it's awesome. I love it. It's great. So that brings us to our discount vehicle pick of the week. And I'm kind of going out of my comfort zone, picking the B11. It's another war vehicle, right? Uh, I, you know, the, the B11 is not that bad. I, I believe I've had this on my list before, whether it was a notable mention or whatever. But I, I do want to pick this vehicle as the vehicle pick of the week. It's got a decent discount, not the greatest. It's still expensive. But remember, these videos are not about price, not about performance. It's just fun vehicles I think you guys should all own. And the B11, honestly, it is a pretty fun vehicle. It has everything. It is durable. It has, you know, flares. It's got explosive cannons. It's got barrage missiles. It's got homing missiles. It's got bombs that you can drop. It's, you know, it's got everything. It's the old school A10, you know, Thunderbolt or Warhog, whichever you want to call it, man. It's got the brrrr, you know what I mean? It's, it, it's great. They did a really good job of mimicking the sound. Now, the explosive cannons, they're not the same as a laser or a hydra. The fire rate is not as fast, and the the explosive splash yield is not as strong. But, I mean, it would be just a little too OP if it had all that. Uh, the plane, It's not the fastest. It's It's got decent speed, though. It does. Um, it, it's not the most agile. It's not the best to dogfight with, but it is decent to dogfight with. It'll, it'll hold its own against some other planes. But it's just a fun vehicle to kind of just tool around with. You saw right there... I just smacked into a telephone pole. If I was in a laser or a hydra, I'm in, I'm done. It, the plane exploded. But this guy can can take a, a you know a lick and keep on going. It, it really can. And so for those reasons, you know, it's got the fast firing homing rocket missiles. There's no cooldown on them. It's 
got the barrage. It's just a really fun play. It, it really is. Um, you can have some fun with, you know, player versus player, player versus enemy, either way. It's just a cool nostalgia type kind of vehicle to have. You know, it was around in other GTA games, so it's got that going for it. And the real life counterpart, I mean, the thing is a beast. It really is. They literally built a plane around a giant machine gun. That is the that is the truth. When they developed this plane, you know, it is a close ground support weapons platform. They had the gun, a giant 20 millimeter Gatlin gun. And they said, let's build a plane around the gun. Okay, that that's like uh, unheard of. And this thing has been in service for a long time. And it, it is, I you know, you can watch documentaries on this thing and and previous uh, conflicts. It this thing has been shot up and it's got the pilot home safe. You know what I mean? And it has rained a lot of um, serious business down to the bad guys. Right? It really has. So super cool on that part. Right? It's just a you know, <laughs> it's just one of those kind of vehicles where. You didn't know you need to have it, but once it was in the game, you're like, yeah, I think I need to have this plane. I, you know, I, I really do. Any of the planes that have bombs on them, I, I, I love doing my little dive bombing thing that I do. I made a dive bomb tutorial video a long time ago, and it actually blew up. It kind of went viral. And uh, <laughs> it's just kind of fun to go around and, and do that and dive bomb on targets and, you know, player versus player stuff, unsuspecting, uh, you know, people in the game. It's pretty cool, and you can kind of just pick out some... Uh, NPCs and dive bomb those too. It's really cool. You can change up the, uh, you know, the, the type of bombs on there. You do have to have a hangar for it, but no big deal, right? But yeah, there you guys have it, man. Those are my vehicles. I didn't want to make this too long. I wanted to cover a few of the vehicles, primarily the 190, and, uh, and and show you guys all about that. But yeah, cool vehicles. You could also say the 811 would be a, a notable mention. It is the fastest supercar in the game, but you know that's kind of all it has going for it. And I really thought that the Sterling and the 190, and of course. You know, your B11 would overall be the better picks for this week. But, you know, by all means, go for whatever you want. These are just the ones that I think that you guys really enjoy if you don't have them, all right? Thank you all so much for coming out to the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.